Hello everyone! As you may know, I am expecting my second baby soon. But the thing is that we live in a two-bedroom apartment. And even though the baby girl will be sleeping in our room until she can sleep through the night, all of the baby's clothes and gear will be stored in this room with her big brother's stuff. In this video, I'm going to reorganize the storage space in the kids' room so that it can be used as a toddler and newborn room. And I'm also going to show you the five ways that I maximize the storage in this small baby room. Stay tuned and watch all the way through the end to get all my good tips. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and The Focus Journal. For inspiring content and tips from a tidy working mom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. The first thing I did was to define the different areas. Right now, most of my toddler boy's clothes are in this closet, except for his pants, which are in the changing table dresser. And it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to clear all of the random things that are on these closet shelves so that all of his clothes can be well organized in this closet with plenty of room to grow. Now that all of the boys' clothes are here in this closet, the changing table drawers can all be used for the baby girl. I filled the drawers up with sizes newborn to 6 months. And each time she grows out of a size, I would just rearrange the content of these drawers. The smaller sizes would either be kept in our storage room or donated or given away. So the first way that you can increase storage in your kid's room is by only keeping the sizes that are worn now or in the immediate future. Obviously right now, her clothes are tiny, so I can keep a different size in each drawer. But when she grows, she will have one drawer for each type of clothing, like tops, bottoms and PJs. I would also be able to use these side cubbies right here for more clothes and accessories. I also made sure to clear up some hanging space for her. She won't really be needing it for the first few months, but it's important to plan ahead. Otherwise, I would have to spend a lot of time reorganizing things again in a few months. The second way I maximize the storage space in the room is by adding an adjustable rod in the closet. Since kids' clothes are short, you can really take advantage of the vertical space and get a lot more hanging space that way. I could add more rods in the future if need be. The third way I maximize the storage space in this room is by choosing furniture that has built-in drawers, like this day bed, which will eventually become the toddler's bed once the two kids are sharing the room. In the day bed drawers, I had some baby girl clothes that I moved into the changing table dresser along with the rest of her clothes. I was also storing queen size bed sheets that don't really belong in this room, so I moved them to my room. There is now a lot more space for things like blankets and sleep sacks in these daybed drawers. After having organized all the clothes, I moved on to organizing the pharmacy and grooming tools plus other miscellaneous accessories. This includes thermometers, snot-sucking tools, brushes, 
butt cream, nail files, pacifiers and pacifier clips, toothbrushes, and so many other little items for both the newborn and the toddler. I kept misplacing the toothbrushes and toothpaste, which is why I have so many of them, and it feels so good to finally have a dedicated space for them. I kept all of the grooming tools that we use on a daily basis on top of the changing table, like diaper cream and body oil, and I stored the rest of the stuff, like nail clippers, thermometers, medicine, etc., right underneath the changing station. The fourth way that I maximize the storage space in the room is by adding this over-the-door shoe organizer, which I keep bibs, swaddle blankets, and crib sheets in. I just had to reorganize this a bit and move the thicker blankets to one of the daybed drawers. And the fifth and final way that I maximize the storage space in the room is by adding this little shelving rack where I store a few books, stuffed animals, and things like the sound machine. One last area to organize in the room was this very narrow closet in which I keep the diapers and wet wipes and a few other items like stroller accessories, carriers, and baby bottles. And just like that, the room is now ready for the new baby. The great thing is that I didn't even use up all of the storage space. There is still a lot of room in the closets, day bed drawers, and on the shelving unit, which I'm pretty sure will get filled up soon enough. Do you also live in a tight space? What are some of the ways that help you maximize your storage space? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out my other videos. I will see you in the next one.